Okay, I promised I would do another video. So this will be video B in response to the one we just saw and you watched where I took a window like this. This window is under polish. Remember I use finishing compound on all my windows. Seals the window from oxidation. And underneath all this polish, there's a window, believe it or not, it's real pretty. You'll have to go to one of my polishing videos to see how I take all this off cleanly using a whiting compound. A lot of the lead people use whiting compound. This is whiting compound. You'll find very few uh, copper foil people utilizing whiting compound, but you'll have to watch one of my videos to see how I do that. It takes, it gets in the cracks with a brush, yada, yada, yada. This video, I took some brass rod. This is about a little bit smaller than hanger size. So I'll tell you what, if you know where there's any brass, copper, uh, brass hangers, get them. Go to your cleaners or find somebody that gets uniforms and they use these and they throw them away. Get these dudes because they are excellent. A lot of welders will use them for brazing rods too. But get those hangers because they're excellent supports. I use these all the time in window hangings. Especially when I do my twisted lead edging that you'll see on other videos. Well, anyway, what I did is I drilled a hole in the strong part of the window. We talked about that on the previous window. And I told you that I would show what it looks like. Find something that you can use. I use this, this nylon handled exacto uh, knife. It, this is an exacto knife. And I put it in here for my spacing. And I wrapped that stiff copper wire, brass, copper, they both solder. Um, and what I did is I wrapped it around that piece, you see, and then I soldered it at the top. Got a nice little weld, so to speak, going on. It's loose, no problem. If I ever want to cut this off because the customer might say that he wants to have it framed, um, no problem. We just snip this, take that off, and it didn't compromise the frame at all with solder globs. This is a solder glob at these intersections. Some lead people or so copper foil, they will glob it up. And you cannot frame a window. This is, this is stained glass window framing. I have this made for me. The track is down the center. This is called a rabbit if you're picture framing. And, and the rabbit is just that back part where the, where the picture drops into it. But, the, but in picture framing, you don't see this center track. It's always in from the back side so that you can put your clips in there and what have you, your staples. But with stained glass framing like this, if you've got solder balls on your intersections, you can't do this. And what happens is a lot of times people will put something on this and the window will bust because they put pressure on that joint where the solder is and all of a sudden you hear that little distinct crack. Oh, that's the worst sound to a stained glass person is that little tink, that little high-pitched squeaky little voice that lets you know you just broke your window. <laughs> so, these are pretty handy uh, because I can use a cup hook, I can use a chain on this. I only like using this black chain. It's called ladder jack. I only will use this. This is the, it's rated for, I'm not sure, I'd have to 75 pounds maybe? I don't know. It's tough. Let's put it that way. Might, might, might not be 75 pound rating. But you want the black ladder jack. This stuff is strong. You use a pair of noodle nose. I call them noodle nose. A pair of noodle nose pliers and you can open up the little link and close the link. And this chain will hold a pretty good size heavy window. And if you're confident in your soldering and your joints and what you're trying to do, no problem. But this shows you a nice little temporary. This is just temporary. Come on. You know, this isn't finished. And if you want to, you could paint this black to go with your black chain because it's copper. So if you really had to, you can just get a little paintbrush and just paint it around. There's no problem. But you, when, it, when you do solder this up, I want to remind you, here's some steel wool. Get some steel wool and you have to shine the copper where it is that you're going to solder. 
because this stuff is oxidizing in any moisture area. I don't care if it's one or two percent. Over a length of time, it's oxidized and you can't solder it. I only use paste flux and I only use Canfield. That's the best there is. I could solder this thing this close with my eyeballs and it will never spit. It's excellent. You guys will be floored if you've, if you've been looking for a paste flux that if you do copper foil especially that doesn't spit at you. You want copper mate flux made by Canfield. Best there is. I endorse it. <laughs> so, clever little hooks. This is a three piece set. I'll polish it up. This is the center panel. The other panels hook into the band and they continue around to the design and then they come back into it. So it's a continuation pattern. There's three of them. It's a leaded window, arts and crafts style. Frank Lloyd Wright kind of influence, art, called arts and crafts. Um, and we'll hang these, in a, I'm going to hang this set in a restaurant um, because it's for sale. I want to display it and I'll put it on my sign that I have framing material. This is my framing material. It's oak. And if a person wants to paint it black lacquer type effect or real dark brown, that would look really nice with this. Or honey, leave it like it is and, well, wood's a whole nother subject, I know. So. Anyway, just wanted to show you a clever little hook, get you by, it'll do the job, it's secure, the window's not going to break, because the support is in the backbone of the window, and the backbone of the window generally, if it's not in the metal or some sort of strengthener here nearby rebar, it's always at the sides. So this is going to carry the strength and the weight of the whole window on both sides. Do not try to solder a clip on here and expect this window to last you a long time. It's going to compromise, the lead's going to pull away, it's going to weaken this point and this point and one of them wants to give and when this gives the whole weight is now on one side, it's going to break. I've repaired too many windows, I've seen it more than a hundred times, easily. More, I've repaired hundreds of windows and lamps, all for the same reason, mostly because of lack of of uh, a sensible port part, uh, way of supporting the window, especially in lamps. You'll see them pull away because they don't solder the vase cap to, the, uh, to all the solder joints. Usually it's just three or four and then eventually the uh, lamp compromises and then puts pressure on the three joints and then two joints and then one and then it breaks. So anyway, that's my little lesson video. Um, this wire that I use, it's like hanger stuff, you know, the brass hangers. It's excellent stuff. Copper hangers, brass, I don't know what this stuff is. It solders. Um, I'm not sure brass solders. I think it does. Um, anyway, this is, this is almost the diameter of a hanger. Really handy stuff. Start looking around for this hanger material because it's excellent. And it's really stiff, really rigid. It can handle a lot of weight. And this stuff, you get it at Home Depot, Lowe's. It's high quality, it's always in black, it's called ladder jack chain, and it's the best. And you use needle nose pliers to close and open the links. It's really easy to do, anybody can do it, so you don't have to have a special tool, just a pair of needle nose pliers. These are needle nose, just to get into that little link, open it and close it. So there you go. Hopefully this helps you guys. Bye bye. By the way, thanks for watching my videos. Very grateful for my growing audience. Visit my website too, by the way, at dichroicglassman.com. Spelled dichroic at D I C H R O I C glassman.com. And again, I thank you. Bye.